thousands of Russians turning out, even amid a heavy police presence there, to pay their respects to Putin critic Alexei Navalny. Here's James Longman. Tonight, they turned out by the thousands. <laughs> Russians braving Putin's security state to mourn opposition icon Alexei Navalny. <laughs> you weren't afraid. We are not afraid either, they chanted, as Navalny's coffin arrived at this suburban Moscow church. Putin Others in the crowd shouting, Putin is a killer, blaming the Russian leader for Navalny's death in an Arctic prison two weeks ago. The line around the block well over a mile long. And inside the church, Navalny's open casket, allowing mourners to say goodbye to the man whose ideals they hope they can keep alive. His parents looking on at their son, his body covered in roses. Later at the cemetery, his mother giving him a final kiss goodbye. The 47-year-old was buried to Frank Sinatra's song, My Way. And music from his favorite movie, Terminator 2, a last joke said to be typical of his humor. It was largely a peaceful day. At least 90 arrests reported so far at commemorations across the country. But Putin's eyes are everywhere in Russia, and recriminations may yet come. And tonight, in an emotional tribute, his wife Yulia posting, thank you for 26 years of absolute happiness. I will try to make you proud. They only closed the cemetery a few hours ago, David, but huge crowds remained outside chanting Navalny's name. They call him Russia's hero. David? Extraordinary images and an act of bravery there today in Russia. James, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.